Hi, I'm Dr. Heidi Gudarzi. I'm a dermatologist and pediatric dermatologist, more importantly, mama of three little kids. Today, I want to talk to you about another common lesion that we see in kids called pilometricoma. Super fancy. It's basically a bump that you can feel under the skin. It's hard usually. It's completely harmless. Some people are more prone to get a kid. Usually they get it one at a time, but sometimes you get multiples or you get one over time. So most of the times parents feel the lesion because it's a cyst kind of under the skin. It's a little bit hard to touch because it gets calcified and has that pebble feeling to it. Usually it's not very painful but it can be a little bit tender to touch and if it's inflamed or gets scratched or gets traumatized can be red and swollen. So what do we do with pilometricomas? Well they don't go away on their own but they're also harmless so the idea of removing it versus leaving it in depends on a lot of factors including how old you're child is, how much is the pilometricoma bothering them, how sure we are of our diagnosis because sometimes when we remove them it's also diagnostic because we can send it to the lab and be sure that it is what we thought it's going to be. And then also you know how comfortable your child is to sit down and kind of tolerate the procedure versus having to have the child under anesthesia for a procedure. Those are all the things that we consider. So the decision to whether remove it or leave it in place kind of depends on a lot of factors including how much does bother you or your child, how much does it bother the doctor, meaning like how concerned they are about their diagnosis and the actual lesion, because after all, it's under the skin and sometimes we think about what are possible diagnoses too. But if we're very sure of the diagnosis and it's not really bothering the child, we could just leave it alone. Also, it depends on how comfortable your child is to sit for a procedure. A lot of times it's not worth doing a procedure if the child isn't going to sit still and the only option is to go to the operating room and put the child under general anesthesia. It also depends on your child's age and your child's temperament. All of these factors come into place, but if the decision is made to remove it, it's a very simple surgery. We open the skin, we take out the pilometricoma out, usually they come out easy. What we refer to as giving birth to a little perfect pebble. And then we sew it in, deep sutures and top sutures, and then the stitches come out in about seven to 10 days and you'll have like a minimal scar at the site. A lot of times on the face, pilometricomas are a cosmetic concern, so we'll remove those and very carefully and very beautifully stitch it up so you'll get a minimal scar instead of this pebbly kind of hard thing on the skin. There are times when the patient has all multiple pilometricoma that we would be worried about their association with other syndromes, so that's when your dermatologist dermatologist or pediatric dermatologist may want to kind of look into it further. But in general, they're harmless. You can remove them. They don't bother the kid much. So this is an example of a super sweet four-year-old who had a pilometricoma on the arm. It was actually very tender and parents really wanted it out. So I talked to the mom and dad and I said that this child is four years old and most likely needs to go to operating room to have this removed. However, because he was so good in the office and parents testified that he's very calm and he does very well with procedures and vaccinations. We agreed that we're going to attempt to do it in the office. We have special ways to distract children to make them calm, but we had to let the parents know. I had to have a long conversation with them that if he changes his mind and he doesn't want to do this and he's throwing a tantrum, I will not be able to proceed. And then at that point, we need to close up and continue in the hospital in the operating room. They were understanding and we started to do the procedure and he did beautifully. And and, uh, you know we removed it in the office while he was watching something and yeah it healed great so I don't know if I was more excited or his parents were more excited or he was more excited because he got a lot of screen time and he was going to target afterwards I don't know who was more excited but it was a very good day every time that I can save a child from going under general anesthesia and going to the operating room by removing something in the office with just distraction and numbing medicine and things like that it just makes my day thank you for being my patients and making my job so awesome. If you have any questions about pilometricoma or any other skin lesions in your child, let me know. Subscribe to this channel. Let me know what questions you have. Mama, I got you and your child's skin covered. Bye guys.